is Jim with My Garage. Good morning on this wonderful Monday morning. Today we're going to be talking about tires. We got Juan and Spence in here and let her rip, baby. Good morning, Spence. How are you I'm today? awake now. That is for I know. sure. And it's great to have you guys in here because uh, we're, we're going from the ground up, from the pavement up on the most important part of a vehicle, especially when we're talking motorcycles. And that is the tire. And you're telling us uh, off air, it's somewhat neglected by many people. Uh, we, we found the tires on your motorcycle or, or even in your car are the most neglected uh, mechanical item that's the most important item on your vehicle. Okay, let's look at in a vehicle of four tires, a car. You rotate and you do things like that. What, what is the protocol on a motorcycle? Uh, the, well, you can't really rotate the tires because well, front to back. Exactly. You have They're a bias tires. Yeah, totally different And sizes. you have radial. Uh, you don't want to mix and match just like on a car. Um, but the, generally speaking, the front's going to be a different size than the rear. Um, but the, we find most of the time, uh, tire pressure is huge. I mean, we've had people come in and we're, you know, even my service manager walk up front and he goes, dude, I had a bike and that has five pounds of tire pressure. You know, they stay up but they wear out really fast. Now, and, and that's dangerous. the thing with, you know, I would assume, because us car guys, and I'm old enough to actually have been in a self-serve gas station in the <laughs> old days, where that was just checked for you all the time. Sure. It was frequent. But as we go in life, and you were talking about timetables and things like that, you think, well, didn't I fill up my tires like a year ago? Well, it's been some when's of the, the last time you actually checked the pressure on your tire? Right. Some of the newer tires, if you ask me, it's been a while, but I luckily, <laughs> I go to the shop and they get checked, but uh, some of the newer motorcycles, like the CVOs, they come with, with the, uh, the uh, tire system, monitoring system, right, just like the cars do, uh, but, but they also sell these uh, tire caps right well it's there's there's caps that has a light on it they're really rudimentary but you could actually purchase for about a hundred dollars you put them inside the tire and it'll monitor your tire pressure bluetooth it to your phone so at least you could maintain it but i think it's a lot of people don't want to spend the money easiest thing to do is come by our store in my garage and basically we'll check your tire pressure for free we'll air them up for free and we do it all the time. There's yeah. also this other issue though that when you buy tires, you make sure, you want to make sure that you buy tires that are new tires that you're purchasing. It's almost like the the milk joke. What's the milk joke, Jimmy? Oh, we were talking about earlier. Like, it, it it blows my mind. Like people say, well, I could buy the tire on the internet for you know ten dollars cheaper. And I said, well, the reason you're getting it for ten dollars cheaper, so not, and it's not always that way. But the tires, generally speaking, we find are old because tires have a shelf life of five years. So you're not going to go buy milk that's two days past its expiration. So why are you buying tires, you know, to, to save, save a buck? Hours. And they're already old, so they're going to last you for a few years because tires have heat cycles. You can only run them for so long. And that's why there's a date on the tire. It's stamped right next to the DOT number. It tells you the year and the week that it was manufactured. And people don't realize that, you know, I bought this bike for, you know, a really good deal. It has a thousand miles on it and it's 10 years old. Guess what? I guarantee you the tires that are on there are old and they get hard over time. And know? if somebody does buy a used bike, get new tires. Sure. Wouldn't that be the product? Just unless you know for a fact and somebody's got receipts, maybe just to ensure your safety, if you buy a used bike, it might be a smart idea. Just say, you know what? For my life, my safety, my health, and my pleasure on the road, I'm just going to drop new tires on this now. That well, makes a lot of sense, though, because when you buy a new Har uh, a used Harley, you're normally buying it from somebody who it, has it sitting in the garage for a while, right? They stop riding or um, things change in their life, and, and it's been sitting there for years. So that's an excellent point because they'll, they'll tell you the threats are great on the tire. They're practically brand new, but their age life has been six seven years old or whatever and um what do you what kind of tires are you selling right now jimmy well we have a we're a dunlop pro dealer and we have, always have specials on tires and your net cost on the tires are actually below cost by it's all said and done it's that's, cheaper that's than crazy. the internet you know? <laughs> all tires created the same no i mean you have we were talking about that one and i earlier were like you have tires that in my opinion that are designed uh for high speed and then you have tires that are really inexpensive um people buy them they don't last as long and your net overall cost, when you actually do the miles per tire tread, whatever you want to call it, um, and the labor and everything, it actually costs you more in the long run. So if you were able to buy a quality tire, this is going to last you like a Dunlop American Elite. Um, they're going to last, generally speaking, you know, 30% longer than most tires. Um, and right now you can get a $60 rebate back when you buy a set of Dunlops. But the thing of it is, is that 
when you buy an expensive tire, it wears out in 5,000 miles versus a tire that's gonna wear out in 15,000 miles. Um, there's even people out there that take advantage of uh, the consumer and sell them. There's a tire, it's called a D404. It looks exactly like a Harley Davidson tire. You can't tell the difference other than looking at the label of who makes it. And it says, not for Harley Davidson motorcycles. And they go, I bought this tire, it was only $99. It was a great deal, but it wore out in a thousand miles. I said, well, it's completely different makeup. Like you're talking about, you know, how the tires are different, the rubber compound, the weighted rating of the tire. And these are the things that people don't take into consideration. They're just throwing money out the window. And let's talk about the ride. So a lot of people will be a weekend rider. Some people actually use it for commute and, and for work. So I'm going to ride a loop that would be generally up to the hills of Ojai, maybe down PCH, up and around. The general riding that's pleasure riding in Southern California. But what about the person that's gonna ride out to Sturgis? Do they have to look at different tires, uh, different dynamics? Uh, how does that play into the game? Well, I think that what we do here at My Garage is a little different than most places where we, what I do qualify the customer, I ask them how they ride the bike, just like you're discussing it. And the thing of it is, is that if you do a lot of commuting, uh, primarily on your, your vehicle, Dunlop, the American Elite's actually a dual compound tire that Michelin came up with, um, but they use it primarily in their top of the line tires. So they're softer on the outside, harder in the middle. So they give you performance through the canyons, but they're also gonna give you the longevity out on the freeway. And so if you're going to Sturgis, yeah, it's gonna, you don't have to change your tire just because you're going to Sturgis. What you need to do is you need to inspect your tire. Um, you need to make sure it's properly aired up. One of the biggest problems we have is, well, all my tires are not bald. And I'm like, it's not bald in the sense that you don't have the ne necessary tread depth, you know, like a minimum 330 seconds. Um, the problem is the tire has been commuted so long going straight, it gets flat spots on the bottom. So when you do decide to leave California or, or wherever you are at in the nation, and you go to Sturgis and right into the canyons, your contact patch to the ground can change from a regular to be reduced by an inch up to an inch and a half because you have a flat spot. And all of a sudden you go in that corner that you've been going in that corner for the last three years the same, and all of a sudden you crash because your tire's got a flat spot. And isn't that another a great thing about, uh, and we'll talk about accidents in just a second, but when you think of the, uh, if we could say, the dynamics of a motorcycle when it comes to how much weight the rider has, how much weight the bike what has. What are you saying? And what is, the, what is the <laughs> surface? <laughs> what, what is the surface that's actually touching the ground? Isn't it weird to think of the big bike, sure. the big rider, maybe two if you're you know riding with a pal on the back, how much surface area is actually in contact with the pavement when you look at that? So having a good tire is, is essential because uh, that's a whole lot of body and a whole lot of weight on a very small patch on the pavement. And, and that's why they're, people don't understand you go buy a tire and they're $200 or $150 or, you know, three, $400. And they freak out and they're like, well, I just bought tires at Costco for 200 bucks for all four. four. Yeah. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, they're not made the same. I mean, they're, you know, they're completely, completely different. You know, your life are, depends upon a no, good quality tire. No doubt. It's sad. And when we talk about uh, people who do get into accidents, uh, motorcycle accidents, we hear them all the time on the air here on uh, KVTA. And they, not that they happen all that more often, but a right. motorcycle accident is really dramatic. Sure, it's really, uh, obviously a lot more serious. The injuries are more severe. And at the law offices of Richard Friends and Associates that sponsors this show, uh, I, I ride, so I take a different passion towards the 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 way we, we treat a motorcycle victim, right? Not only are, just like tires, but motorcycle accidents are different because of what you should be getting. You should be getting something called loss of use, Spence. Imagine if you have to rent a bagger right now at Glendale, it would cost you like about $160, $180 a day. So when your bike is down because of an accident for, for two months or or how long it takes for the insurance company to decide that they're gonna pay you, you're entitled to $160, $280 a day if you have a bagger. If you have a, a Sporty, maybe $119. If you have a Dyna, $130, $140. So don't let the insurance companies come and tell you, hey, uh, you need a rental, here's one for 29 bucks. Because you don't know, right? You go, okay, well, I guess you're right. I can't ride anyway, I got a broken leg. But it doesn't matter, there's case law there that says you have to replace what you lost. So we treat it differently, and there are a lot of a lot of law firms out there that may not know how to do that. And hopefully you don't get into an accident, but if you do, call 485-8888 before it's too late, Spence. If you know somebody who was in an accident, right. the rule is 
uh, talk to somebody who knows first, like mm -hmm. a good law office, before you speak to insurance companies or other people involved. Make sure you talk to to an expert who's got your uh, best interests in mind. Sure. That's very important. Can we do one thing very quickly? Yes. Here? You have a friend on the phone. <laughs> good morning, KVTA. Who's this? Hey, how are you doing? This is Dave. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Good morning, a, Dave. We used to we sponsored Dave. Uh, I used to actually race race cars with Dave, and he got bunked in the head and moved to Florida. That's the way I look at <laughs> it. All right, now, th Dave, they can't hear you. They don't have headphones. But uh, what what would you like to say this morning from Florida? You know, uh, from Florida, uh, don't take uh, what Jim is saying for granted. Really take it to heart about tires. It's really crucial. And also, where uh, the slogan is, my garage is your garage. And um, this is from Dave and Vicki Knight from Florida. We congratulate him on his latest endeavors. And you've been all over the internet, uh, doing a lot of uh, internet, and uh, your your videos have become very, very uh, uh, popular. You've, you've got a lot of eyes on those videos, and, and enough for a, a buddy to call across the country uh, <laughs> to wish you the best uh, this morning, which is really fantastic. So to button it up now with the tires, you look at what is important, and obviously the operation of the whole bike is essential. But boy, if you don't have a good helmet and you don't have a good good tires, good brakes, what, what are you thinking? You know, it's it's your fun, it's your pleasure, and it's your safety. The the thing of it is, is that uh, don't be complacent. Whether it's inspecting your motorcycle or you're riding your motorcycle, um, I don't want to say that I'm lazy, but I'll be honest with you, I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately for me, you know, I could you know say, hey, Ed. Um, he's my service manager that he, can you pull my, I'm going to be riding this week or I'm going to ride today and he, he'll air up the tires. And that's one of the things when you bring your bike in for, uh, any type of work, the first thing they do is they check the tires and then, cause it's such a crucial thing. People's my bike shakes and you're like, okay, well, we thing we do first, check the air pressure. And you come and it's like, dude, the thing had like 10 pounds in it, you know? So tire pressure. And that's why we always offer. Uh, free inspections, you bring it in, we'll check it, we'll look at the date of your tires. Um, I look at the wear, I mean, I could look at it by eye, but I'd rather show somebody with a gauge and say, hey, it's bad. But at the end of the day, um, you know, safety of everything, and we do a basic walk around for you anytime. And your garage, my garage, is located where? My garage is 11107 Violetta Street in East Ventura, the area known as Satakoy. Uh, we're actually in a 15,000 square foot facility, wow. which is my big headache, uh, but I love it. And uh, I'll be going there today. We're open from 10 to 2. Uh, it was just myself and one other front staff member. And then uh, Tuesday through Saturday, we have a complete staff of technicians. Now, what is uh, the, the group, uh, the family of motorcyclists in this community that might want to go on rides? Uh, what's the ratio of men to women, approximately, of riders? Um, I, I think Juan was saying the other day, it was like, they're getting 20% women riders, women. which is awesome. Right. Yeah, you know? and it's building. Yeah, so. and there's, you know, there's riding groups, you know, that are getting together. We went, uh, I went on two rides this past weekend, and um, one of them was for Sergeant Ron that unfortunately passed away mm -hmm. in the... Uh, um, issue in Thousand Oaks and um, it was a little convoluted for me I waited to the back and I watched all the entertainment happen on the 23 mm -hmm. of the brakes locking up and things like that but you know it, it's one of those things that it is it's it's a great uh, pastime or you know everyday endeavor but we want to do it safely we, we want to do it right and we want to have a blast while we're doing it funny thing even though I'm talking about a car now uh, being the guy that lazy not checking things <laughs> I took my car and this is years ago and when I got it out, I drove around, I drove back, and I said, hey, thanks for fixing my power steering. The guy looks at me and goes, what are you talking about? I said, well, my car, he goes, I inflated your tire. <laughs> I, <laughs> and I looked at him, and I'm just like, oh. And I walked out feeling it's such a knucklehead, but he says, you don't know how many people tell me that when they ride on inflated tires. They say, you fixed my bike. What did you, you fix my car? What did you do? I inflated your tires. Yeah, Something simple. that simple makes your ride great. Before I forget, though, we're going to be giving a, a price in, uh, giving a, a price awesome. in, in three weeks, two more weeks, actually. Every third week, we'll give some, something away. And, and it's going to be based on questions from contents of the show. And I think Jamie also has a web page for you to or Yeah, I, 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 my mind's in 15 different other places, and I forget things all the time. Ask the boss. But bottom line is, uh, the, if you want to, you have a question, write in to 1590 at mygarageventura.com. That's 1590 at mygarageventura.com. Um, you can put comments um, if you want. Say whatever you want. Be nice.